is David Ray. I'm the Florida sales manager for Scuba Pro. I've been with Scuba Pro for 19 years and I've been using Scuba Pro most of my entire life. I've been teaching diving for 35 years and I specialize in teaching cave diving, which takes me to some of the most remote places using nothing but Scuba Pro equipment. Today I want to introduce you to the new Mantis II. It is our latest and greatest computer using all the biometrics and human factors that we've been using in the Galileo and other computers for the past many years. Today we're going to talk about the Mantis II and today we're going to talk about the, uh, the features of the Mantis II and walk you through some of the many settings that are available. First if you'll notice we have a beautiful rubber band or a metallic band that can be used for dress. This one being rubber is going to be better for wearing with a wetsuit or a dry suit or for your diving, but then you can easily switch to the stainless band for going out in the evenings. When you look at the watch you'll notice the 3 stainless case. We have the same four buttons that we've had on our previous watches like the Meridian. These buttons are a magnet and a reed switch. So there are no holes drilled in these locations going through the case for the, any potential for uh, water intrusion. When you look at the outside, it's very obvious this is a dive watch. It's very obvious it's a Scuba Pro watch, which people will be very proud to wear. On the inside, we have notations that allow you to quickly identify exactly where you are in the menu. When you push the buttons, it'll move you through that menu. Then you can press select and make changes. If we look at the buttons, the bottom left is our select button. This allows us to enter and exit through our menus. The top left is our light. This allows us to turn on the light in the dark or in low light conditions and be able to read the watch or the dive computer during the dive. We've got an up button and a down button. This allows us to scroll forward and backwards through the menu and then make selections with the bottom left. So as we look on the ring, we'll notice that we've got sport mode starting at the bottom left. We've got stopwatch, altimeter, compass, dive planner, log, dive. This is where we would set for scuba for apnea, for gauge, or for swim modes. And then we also have our set feature, which is where we set the watch functions. So let's break these down and we'll walk you through the individual settings for each of these areas so you can maximize the enjoyment of your Mantis II. Today we're going to talk about the operation mode of the Mantis II. When you first put the watch on, the beautiful screen will show you your time, your dual time if you have it set, and your date. Then as we move through the buttons we can go through the operations mode. So if I start with the minus button and I do a light press, you'll notice that the cursor is showing set on the inner bezel ring. You'll see the arrows pointed towards the set mode and it says watch. If I do another light press, I'm now going to move to the dive mode. In the dive mode this is where I can set my nitrox, quickly and easily in just a couple of steps. If I'm doing apnea, if I'm doing gauge, if I'm changing gases, all this is done under this mode. Another light press is going to show me the log. As I go into the log book, not only will I get all of the previous dives that I've done, remembering that the Mantis II will record up to 50 hours of diving in four second sampling rates, which is amazing. Another light press is going to put me in the dive planner. This will let me plan a dive using the percentage of nitrox that I'm using, getting ready for the dive, knowing how long I'm going to be able to stay down, what kind of time I'm looking at, and then on the surface I can even program in how long I want to stay on the surface so that I can get longer bottom times on my, my second dive. Or if I change nitrox mixes for the second dive, I can do a dive plan for that as well. Another light press, I'm going to get the compass. And again, we're going to walk you through these individually and we'll show you how to set up your compass and then what features you'll be able to use the compass through the use of your Mantis II. Another light press, I've got my altimeter. This will show me what temperature I've got presently, whether it be above water or underwater, keeping in mind when you're above water that it will be affected by your skin temperature. Underwater, it's going to be a little bit more accurate than on the surface when it does detect your skin temperature. It also shows me the altitude I'm at presently, as well as the altitude class I'm in, meaning if I'm between dives, I'm going to have an altitude class based on my previous dive, and it's going to help me know how high I could go up in the mountains or if I could fly based on this altitude class. Then we have sport mode. Sport mode is brand new for the Mantis II. It's a fantastic feature that's going to be able to allow you to use this for your fitness, for your hiking, 
for your mountain biking, whatever you're doing where you've got activities outside without having to change the device that you're wearing, you can use your Mantis II for sports as well as for diving. The next feature is a stopwatch. Doesn't matter if you're baking cookies or if you're timing somebody in the swimming pool that's swimming some laps or whatever, you've got a stopwatch with lapse timer up to 72 hours of runtime. Again, if we go the other way and use the plus button, we just go through the menu the other opposite direction. Stopwatch, sport mode, altimeter, compass, dive plan, log, dive, and set. Set being for the watch. All right, next we're gonna walk you through the individual features.